hi Aries welcome in welcome into your weekly reading Aries please universe angel spirit guides let's go ahead and do a, a dive into the last week of April uh, heading into the first week of May uh, time and energy is fluid please take that into account guys you're not all going through the same thing at the same time you're not all dating the same zodiac signs and you're not all at the same cycles that is why we say take what resonates and leave what does not now, let's see what storyline Spirit wants me to read for. And yes, it's always a storyline because I've come to realize when I was doing like the re readings for, um, who was it? TikTok. Oh my God. So different. So, so different. Because again, the audience is just different and that's just who Spirit wanted me to target. All right. What you got? We're in the phase of judgment. I don't know. I was told to look at it. So I did. What's the situation for Aries, please? What's the current situation for Aries, please? The last week of April going into May. Okay. Interesting. What is coming towards them? Future, please. Coming towards them. Uh, this is good for your moon, uh, rising, and Venus sign. Um, you should also watch those as you will get a common thread for you as well. All right, what is the surprise for Aries, please? Wow, I actually, at first I saw your, your situation walking away from someone. I was like, oh, is this going to be a sad reading? No, please. It's kind of interesting. It's coupled with the Page of Wands. You're all right with it. You're curious as what's going on out there. Uh, advice, please. It's what it looks like. It's what it feels like. Let's see, I could be wrong. Let's... Get all the cards out. All right. Simple enough. I love it. Your your advice this week is pretty simple. And I think you, you've already been through the worst of your shit. This is probably why advice is looking as like simple as it is. Outcome, please. It almost feels like a reminder, if anything, at all. Outcome, please. Thank you. Ugh. All right, I don't like the outcome, but you know what? It's a weekly reading. We'll see. Let's put this out here. Because why does the devil got to be back there? Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Now, here you are, Aries, in all your glory, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. Sometimes the fool talks about being a solo ride, like doing it alone. Um, yes, because you recently have been betrayed, and you felt it for all it was worth. You felt gut punched and shredded to fucking pieces. I mean, literally pieces. Look at this card. There's nothing left. That's how you felt. Okay? So you made a decision. After you had this tower fall or this collapse happen with you and your person, you made a judgment call. You, you Actually, what you did, you said to yourself, wow, yeah, this person really betrayed me. I gave them so much, and this is what they did to me. They shredded me. They shredded my heart and my soul. And you're like, you know what? Fine. All right. I'm going to take a leap of faith. I'm going to take a risk. And I'm going to see what else is out there. I'm going to move on. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to give a shit. <laughs> you're kind of saying. Because it's like, and it's heartbreaking. Because at some point, it looked like you had a relationship here with somebody. Um, it could have even been an engagement or you lived with them. And it just felt like you were coming back in from out of the cold with them. You felt a little bit of stability. They felt stability with you. You were both very happy with each other. And then out of fucking nowhere, death. The situation, what, what, what was going on behind the scenes, Aries, is that there was a transformation happening between you and this person. For this person, it hit them out of nowhere. It was an epiphany. It was shocking for them. All right? For you, it was like, what are you doing? Why are you acting shady? Why are you dissing? Why are you not calling me? What do you... You just made your own judgment call over there. You're like, well, this is how I see it. I see you as betraying me. You're just quiet. You're not doing anything. So I'm going to see what else is out there. That's what's going on. Recent past current situation. You are walking away. You're emotionally cutting someone else off. Like you are literally intentionally... Like I know we always say, oh, eight of cups. You, you leave somebody emotionally and... You go think about things through, no, you are literally saying, you know what, I'm going to leave those cups over there. I'm going to try to force myself to emotionally disconnect from this person because I need to fucking persevere in this life. 
and I need to persevere over this situation and circumstance. Why? Because I'm an Aries, and I do what Aries do, because there it is, Page of Wands, which is the Aries card, which is the Aries card, the Fool. And you're like, I'm going to be curious. I'm going to take a, a, a leap of faith and go out into the world and see what else is out there for me. What's good for me? So I'm going to just cut, cut this person off emotionally and be curious and see what else is out there. Now let's see what's coming towards you. Well, there's only so much you can do when fate steps in here. Look at this, the fool. Um, I'm sorry, the wheel of fortune. The wheel of fortune is another go round potentially with somebody or when fate steps in to give you good luck of some kind. Let's keep going and see what else is going on. Because you kind of have been maybe waiting for your person to come back. It's like you almost feel intuitively like they are because you know what they had done to you. They know it was a betrayal and you, you feel like, you know, it's any minute now they're going to come in and give me some kind of offer. And guess what? If this isn't you, it's definitely them. 100%. This person is sitting here waiting. You know, Aries is going to call me any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Any minute now. Oh my God, Aries isn't calling me? Yeah, because your fucking boat is too big to come into dock. All right? So they're anchoring you out there because the port is too fucking small. And this person needs to wake up and see that. So he keeps staring at his watch and not realizing your worth and your value and how big you are. You guys see this? All right, fate does. And they're like, yo, you wake up before you lose this boat. All right, because this person was in and out of your life, juggling you. Could have been juggling between two people. We're going to clarify and we're going to see what this is all about. Um, and the other card, yeah, offering you a new beginning in a relationship. Some of you guys, this could be a job. This is a job offer that you've been waiting to hear from employers because you put yourself out there and you've been in between jobs before with this. Uh, and fate is stepping in to throw you a bone, a big one, a good one, work-wise. Those of you in regarding love, this person is waiting, 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 waiting to give you an offer because I don't know, I don't know what the hell they're waiting for after they betrayed you. Who the hell goes back to this shit? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody and their mother. All right. Um, what you don't see coming, one soul little car. Uh, is the high priestess. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Others of you, this is just maybe you are not talking to this person and using your intuition. You intuitively know. You know everything that's going on with this person that you guys are dealing with. Like why he did what he did. He They thought that they could game you or play you and control you. And you're like, no. So... This is also just saying someone you're not speaking to. So I, I feel like the radio silence fucking continues. Like the game continues. And it's annoying me now. So this is when I start cursing. But anyway, because I, I get so passionate for you guys. It's like, anyway, I'm like talking to you like you're my best friend. So I'm like, <sighs> anyway, your advice. The chariot. So that's why it's simple enough. The chariot is like, no ma do, are you seeing these feathers like floating everywhere? Am I just crazy? See, spirit, your angels are definitely with you. Um, the chariot. The chariot talks about you remaining focused, remaining positive, regardless of the negative shit going on around your life. Because it's always usually a picture where we have um, a white horse and a black horse. It can be a sphinx. It can be anything. That represents yin and yang, the, 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 the dark nature versus the light nature. And regardless of this all going on around your life, guys, I'm sorry my nose is itchy. It usually happens like when your spirit guides for me are around. This is probably why I'm seeing like feathers and dust and you could probably see it in the video. But um, it's saying make sure you stay focused and positive regardless of all of this because you're going into the right direction. And what spirit is doing is a huge collective shift amongst all the zodiac signs. And they're trying to clean things up. It's like for some of you, it's a matter of your other person who needs to get woke. And they need to wake up to realize who you are to come back to you and come back to you correct. Others of you, it's to see that this person was only a lesson and that something far more amazing and more beautiful is coming in. You're those two camps. I think I just got done doing Life Path 5. I was saying the same thing. I'm going to use the same analogy. It's like, you know, our spirit guides, our angels, our protectors up in heaven who are up there in the universe and the stars look down at us and they're like, well, well what are they doing? Like, you know, like for some of you, when I see the chariot... It, it's like they're saying, 
Oh, so, uh, Michael, um, look at Guy on aisle five. It doesn't look like he's learning his lesson. He might need another one. So give him another cycle because that's what he's asking for. And so there goes Guy and I file, I, aisle five doing the same thing all over again. Notice how I use the, the number five because of changes, not getting over it and accepting it. You know, and they could be like, you know, our spirit guides are looking down and they're like, oh my God, check out Susan in the produce aisle. She's killing life. Give her a bonus. Bring her in good energy. Because elevation, moving, going, especially with the chariot, just keep going through life. You don't got to stop for anybody unless it's worth your time and value. That's it. Just keep focus on your life, your agenda, your job, your family, your kids, your goals. You're crushing it. Right now, the next few years, Spirit is giving you some major uh, changes in your career uh, sector because I suspect that in a few years, when you guys look back two years from now and you say, oh my God, thank God I didn't stay with this person. Oh my God, thank God I didn't stay in that job. It's one of those things. That's why they're like telling you, keep going, keep going. If you're going through hell, like Winston Churchill has once said, keep fucking going. <laughs> now, outcome. Knight of Wands, the Devil, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Four of Pentacles. Actually, now I see what's going on here. Some of you, the person that you're dealing with is holding on to you energetically. They're literally clinging on to you. They have not cut that cord for shit. All right? They're just coming at you very, very slowly. That's why you have the high priestess here. This is why you're not con talking. And this is why I was saying, oh, the game continues. Because this person is coming in, like I told you, you know, sexy Charlie or sexy Charlene over here. You know, like, oh, like uh, flirty and fun and trying to, you know, be fling, bringing in a fling. That's their toxic nature. That's their devil crap. That's their shadow side. This energy, this bullshit that they're pulling in on you. This is also Sagittarius for some of you. But look at what they're doing. They're clinging on to you, holding on. Four of Pentacles. You could be too. Some of you, this is you holding on to that person. And you being this Knight of Wands. Thinking about texting them something flirty, something sexual. I don't know. But here's the interesting part. This is what annoys me. Yes, I feel like it's mostly that person. That person is coming towards you, but slowly. It's a Knight of Pentacles. It's not a flaky knight. This is something serious. It's like these are two opposing knights. One is flirty and sexy and brings in messages of passion, like, hey, what's up, what's happening? This one, he's coming towards you so slow you can barely see it. But guess what? He's paving the road towards you with coin, with bank, with stability, with emotion. He's just taking his time. Here are two opposing energies. So this is what's coming at you first, but this is the intention behind it. So it's like in the front of the horse is the passion and the fire, but you don't see the tail end that what he's paving it with or what she's paving it with. You get what I'm saying? Because this person never let you go. The only problem is the toxicity is still there. It hasn't been negated. Somebody here is operating out of fear. Oh my God. It happens. Happens a lot. Let's see what's going on here. What is the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands, please? You guys are trying really, really hard right now to manifest your future, your life. You see how I'm looking at the devil right now? This is just killing me. Yeah. This person that you're with, I told you, remember this three of wands here and waiting and waiting for you to call them and waiting for you to text them. And Aries isn't going to do that. So keep fucking waiting. Cross watcher. I'm sorry. I'm just being honest. And it's making you sad. It's making you miserable. I could see it. Others of you, it could be you, Aries, you waiting for them. And this person, it, this whole situation is toxic. Waiting for them is toxic. Being obsessed over them is toxic. Thinking about it. But I don't see you doing that. I see you disconnecting and putting yourself forward. I personally feel like 80% of you guys, this is your person doing this to you. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn, but what they originally had done is when you were a blessing to them, they dumped it. And then they waited for you to come back like you were going to run back, but you didn't. Because this is them needing to like wake up, stop operating from a negative point of view, stop operating toxically. 
So you are getting the magician with your eight of cups and the page of wands. You're trying to manifest your future. You don't give a fuck about this. I mean, you do, but you don't. It's like it's either going to happen or it's not. It's not going to stop you. That's why you have the chariot in your advice. This is why you're manifesting. This is why you have the page of wands. You're like, I'm curious to see what else is out there because enough is enough. I'm not going to wait. Regardless if they're coming towards me or not, I don't give a shit. I'm going to go towards my shit. Meanwhile, this person over here is waiting for you. Are they nuts? After the ten of swords? <laughs> my God, do they not see it? I don't think they see it. What else? What else is this? The three of wands, please. The two of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. Some of you have a new person that's coming in towards you. For sure. For fact. There's a new energy coming towards you. And this person is faded towards you. Others of you, you're having a second go around with your past person. Because it was one of you, not the two of you, who needed to wake up to the situation. Yes. You... Are gonna have two people most of you aries you're gonna have two choices a new person and your past person devil who is trying really hard to not have this ending or transformation holding on to the relationship for dear life energetically speaking now coming in at you like a page trying to give you a small offer like this is you and they're giving you an offer like you're this big but you're not it's like what you want to and you you want what to go back to the way things are? No, there's a reason you put your foot down, Aries. It's because you wanted things to change. You wanted things to be better. You wanted things to be different. This person is trying to hold on to like not ending, not changing anything. That's toxic. Anyway, going back to this, some of you guys are having a brand new relationship, and you're gonna juggle both. Okay, I'm just gonna flat out be honest. That's what's coming towards you in a future position. You're going to be juggling possibly two potential partners or people. One is new, one is old, and you're debating, right? Meanwhile, someone over here is waiting for you to come back, call them. Spirit and fate is doing this to you. They're doing it for a reason, okay? Here is what's clarifying all of this. You're no longer going to stress over this garbage, this bullshit. You're like, I have options. Sure. Tell me what the offer is. Put your cards on the table. If you don't put them all down, I don't really give a shit to even look at it. So you're like, no. But you're not even stressing anymore because you have new energies coming in. You see yourself moving forward into a different direction. But you are, you've gone through the worst. You've been through the worst. You've arrived on land here with someone. Done. You're like, I don't care. As long as I bring in somebody in my life that loves me. I want to love someone and be loved. That's what you're saying, Aries. I just want to find that person, whoever that person is, whether it's the past person, the new person, that's what I want. Because now you're over the point of not even caring if they come back to you or not. You only want them back in your life if they're going to come correct. You've learned the lesson. That's why you're looking at the Six of Swords right now. And here's where you are going to be. You're going to get torn over two people, two paths, two situations. This is when the universe tests you. Charlie in aisle five down there below. <laughs> Meanwhile, in aisle six, the success story is like the new person. Do you go back to aisle four? Some of you, maybe the person in aisle four needed to come to aisle five and find you because they finally woke up, but they're still in this toxic crap. They're still in that like devil mode. The High Priestess. And there's nothing you could do about that, Aries, unfortunately. You can. You can do as much as you can do for yourself. You can build yourself up. You can elevate yourself. You can deal with yourself. But there's only so much you could do about your external environment. And it comes to a point for you, Aries, like, well, it looks like they're not going to match me. And it's not like you're going to wait for them anyway. Because time waits for no man. And if they're meant to be in your life, somehow, some way, the universe is going to make it happen. But you're starting to see this. You're starting to understand this and it's putting a smile on my face because you're realizing this. That's why I was looking at the Eight of Cups and the Page of Wands. You get it now. You learned it. You learned the lesson here. So now, guess what? This person is learning from you. I know you don't wish to be the teacher in the situation or the circumstance, but that's just a life cycle. Because I suspect those of you, the, the new person coming in is your be all and end all. Others of you... You're going to rehash this with your past person, and they're the ones who are going to step up and elevate. It's one or the other here. 
That's who I'm reading for. I can't make it more, you know, more broader than that. That's the storyline. What's the High Priestess? The High Priestess is clarified by the Seven of Wands, uh, Cups. Oh, God. All right. This person that you're not talking to, because this is the surprise area. This is what's coming towards you. This is the surprise. Okay. In your surprise, this person that you're not speaking with, with the High Priestess over here, this person wants to come in from out of the cult, and they're hoping and praying. Well, actually, that's what they're hoping and praying, that they could come in from out of the cult. They're hoping and praying that they could come in from out of the cult with the star, that to come in from out of the cult, the five pentacles in reverse, to not be single any longer. And they've made their decision. Well, holly fucking Lulia, but are you going to change as a human being? <laughs> so the seven of cups in reverse talks about either A, making your decision or like making that choice or B, you're deluded. So take your pick, folks. I personally believe this person has finally decided that you're the one that because you put them out in the cult, sure, maybe they dissed you, maybe they betrayed you, maybe they broke your heart, but trust me, I know you Aries, when somebody does you dirty, you know how to shut them good and you know how to shut them out. And I'm telling you that vast void, they can feel it, it's painful. So this person, this is probably why I'm seeing the Knight of Pentacles, is somebody very earthy or has a lot of earth, you know, Taurus, uh, Capricorn, Virgo in their chart, they must, because they're presented by this Knight of Pentacles in the background, but in the front, they're coming in like a fire sign, like a, like a bit of like a false mask in a way, because this person actually wants stability with you, but it was the way they were presenting themselves to you. You've been elevating and changing, um, but they, they've got to come now and they're, they're seeing this about you, and they're trying to make those changes. So this person is like, okay, I made my decision. Aries is the one. I don't want to be single anymore. I want to come in from out of the cold. I'm hoping and praying that they'll take me back. Meanwhile, they're not doing anything. They're not saying anything. What are you supposed to do with that? You're supposed to do what Aries you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do this, the right thing that you're doing. Disconnect and moving on and going to greener pastures. When this person wakes up, if you happen to be available and you're okay with it and they've changed, Great. If not, Aries is happy to meet someone new because they're manifesting their future. That's why Spirit is saying, don't stop, Aries. You're focused right now. Keep it fucking going. You know what the chariot is? It's like funny. It's like you're in your car, you're going down a highway, and that person that you've been dealing with is on the side of the road. You may stop. You may not stop. It depends on what they're wearing, what they're saying, how they look. If they're looking good, and they're saying the right shit, and they smell fine, maybe you'll let them in the car, and you move on together. If they say the old shit, and they're wearing the same old crap, and they smell like their old funky ass way, you're like, no, peace out, goodbye, this car is moving on. <laughs> That's the advice. I love it, the chariot. Okay. Wow, yes, the chariot is clarified by temperance in the world. You guys are about to begin a new chapter. You just have to be a little patient right now, okay? You're finishing up the healing process, and Spirit is saying you're definitely about to begin a new, new, um, a new cycle. And that's why they're saying stay true to your vision, stay true to your path. This, these energies that you've been in, stay there because you're about to start a new cycle, and you are healing. You just got to be a little bit patient, all right? It's coming in. They're working on it. Some of you, it could be talking about a trip. Go take it. Go on it. Oh, my God. Guess what's coming in? Two cups. Look at them. Doesn't it look like a rekindling of some kind? Look how they're hugging. Even the freaking cat at the bottom is like, I want some. All right, let's see what's going on. And this is down the line because this is like we're reading for the end of April. This is probably happening in May. This is what's, our, first of all, do you see this symbol up here? That's this. That's Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael is the protector of relationships. He's bringing this in. He's saying be patient. It's coming. It's coming. Um, the devil and the two knights and the four of pentacles. What is this all about? Either you are holding on to your person from the past or they are holding on to you. I want to say 80% of you guys, it's your person. It's definitely your person because I see you walking away over here. 
you're like, enough of this shit. But it doesn't hurt as much as it used to, is what it feels like. It feels like, no, I'm all right. I'm good. I'm really, really good. I'm manifesting my future, whether it's a new person or the old person. I, I just know now, as an Aries person, what to allow to receive in. That's what it feels like from you guys, energetically speaking. Look at this. The Knight of Pentacles came out again. I'm telling you, this person that's coming in towards you is coming in solid. But face forward, they're trying to come in like different, like, you know, like uh, almost like um, flirty and fun, just so it doesn't seem the, the tempo or the environment doesn't seem so serious. Because if it's your past person, of course it's serious. Look what the fuck they did. But they're trying to like lighten it up. But they're coming in with something solid because they want something solid with you. Because well, you make them happy. I mean, this is happiness in general. This is coming down the line. You're about to step in a pile of sunshine. Why? Because you're the fool and you took a leap of faith. Because this is taking a leap of faith and you find your happiness. Because you know, you have your head down, staying focused, working on your job, working on your craft, doing your own thing. And this person is like, look, the knight, the knight of pentacles. I know I've been slow, but look at me. I've gone from being a little fucking donkey and a little piece of shit to somebody who's growing up and found a stallion and now I'm becoming a knight and I'm offering you my pentacle. So they're also evolving. Thank God. Anything, and I like the sun. This is great. This is anything else you want to tell me about the outcome? Yes, no? Extended, link down below. I will go into it. Oh my God. I'm just going to show you and we'll talk about it in the extended. Those of you that are members, the link is down below. I'm sorry, the extended is only for members. Guys, I, got, I get these complaints over the extended. It's crazy. I'm thinking of getting rid of the first tier. It's only going to be the let's get lunch. It should be only $6.99. Somebody was telling me some crazy price. I'm like, no. And you have access for the month of all my extended videos of every Zodiac sign. So there's that. Because, I don't know, whatever. And if you can't find the link, I'll drop it in your remarks. Look what's coming, guys. Fresh new love. Six of Pentacles, fair and balanced. With somebody very intelligent, cerebral, smart, blah, blah, blah. That's coming down the pike. Right now, they're just trying to pave the way to come towards you. Somebody serious is coming towards you guys. Let's get some romance cards here and see what's going on. Universe, angel, spirit guides. So this is like, it feels like a weird transitioning week almost it feels like you know like the universe is prepping you guys for something big something huge somebody new somebody new for some of you guys romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring this is the new person deception someone is wearing a false self mask in the relationship remember i was telling you earlier about like oh coming in as the knight of wands but in the background they're the knight of pentacles they're wearing like a, a self a fake mask they're trying to like tone situation down they're not telling you how they feel or their actions but this is like them self-deceiving themselves because you're not fake you hate fake people aries in fact, liars, you, you detest liars. They're disgusting to you. I mean, they're, they're repulsive to me too, but anyway. <laughs> you you kind of give it straight. So we'll clarify this. Sometimes this could talk about self-delusion. I don't think that's the case here for you. I think this is somebody coming in like pretending to be something that they're not. When they have far more feelings and emotions for you than they're actually showing you. All right, last card. We're going to get a card from the House of Night. These are your oracle messages from your god and goddesses that protect and watch over you. I may have to read from the book. It's a short clip, guys. These are profound messages. I will take a listen. Aries, please. Aries, please. What is their best advice? What can you say to Aries, please? Okay. Obedience. Interesting. What's this? And, oh, playful. How cute. Playful is like the Knight of Wands. Playful and obedience. Let's quickly look at these. Let's rush through these. These are usually very profound to me. I'm sure they will be to you guys. Of course, leave me your comments. 
There are rules for everything. The sun rises and the moon sets, and they dance together in perfect steps. This is the card for obedience. What rules are you considering when you ask your question? You will be sorry if you go to break a rule that is in place to protect you and others. Even though you may not like authority right now, this is the time to obey what, they, what has already been set in motion. This is the time to learn the lay of the land and to follow the customs that keep things in order. Learn the steps of the dance before you attempt to change them to suit you. This could be talking about a new job or a new relationship. There are rules. There's no skipping steps. There's no free ride or free lunch. We know this. There are rules in place. Go with the set standard at this point in time because sometimes, like I know us Aries, we like to buck the norm. They're like, don't buck the norm right now. And you don't have to be so controlling. Let things roll. That's why you're getting the chariot over there. Let's see what playful is. This is probably the energy they want you to be in. My child, life is not always so serious. Choosing the simple means it's time to lighten up and be playful. This can also be the other person, but I don't think so. This is your angel speaking to you. That's maybe why we got the Knight of Wands. No matter what you're asking about, this is the time to have a sense of humor. Smile and go do something fun. Life has a way of answering all questions when you're not looking. Wouldn't it be better if you were enjoying your life rather than just sitting around waiting for what you want to happen? Well, don't take yourself too seriously. It's time to lighten up and be playful. Know that when the symbol appears in your life, the fun is about to start. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will see you uh, next week.